morning everybody. My name is Darlene and I have Parkinson's. Now today I'm going to be doing Make It Monday. We're going to do a simple uh, easy fondue. Um, it's my birthday coming up this week and on Tuesday but I'm going to make this. This is Sunday currently and I'm making it today. We're going to heat it up tomorrow. My husband does not like this as I've said. So my daughter and I are going to have fondue during the afternoon and Bill will have something else and then he'll have what he wants on the Tuesday. So that's how we're going to do it. And then whatever is left from the fondue, I'm then going to um, give to my son and his wife. So I'm going to get started here. I'm not moving 100% right now because I've just taken medicine, but I'm going to get started because this is my time frame. So it says in a, oh, I should, hang on a second. I'm going to hold this up. I will print the recipe in the description box, but though for those who want to take a screenshot, oh, how will I do this? I will go like this. There, I'll go like that and you can take a screenshot. If you go into the description area, it will have the recipe there. So let's see, a small amount of EVOO cut up. Okay, and I should also tell you that I am making a double size recipe because I do want to share it with the kids, but I'll give you the recipe as it stands, okay? so. It says cut up half a shallot. So of course I've got a whole shallot and I need my oil, which is right here. So. I love my sprayers. You can control your oil much better that way. And then, so I've cut up a whole shallot, but the recipe is a half a shallot. Okay, so. And I've cut it up fairly finely, and now it says to sweat it down. So I'll go over this while that starts to sweat down. I just don't want to... The chair that I'm on has wheels, and it rolls very easily, and I, I've been having kind of a rough week, so I don't want to fall on the floor with the wheels. So cut up the half a shallot finely and sweat it down. Okay, so I've got that on to do that. Then we add a splash of dry white wine. You want to use a wine that you enjoy drinking. If you don't enjoy drinking it... Well, then, you know, if you don't enjoy drinking, period, you can use a splash of chicken stock um, or a little bit of apple juice. But if you want to use the wine, make sure that it's not cooking wine because it, it is much nicer if it's a, a wine that you enjoy. So after we add the wine, we'll cook it for a minute and then we will be adding half and half and cream cheese and cheese and a pinch of nutmeg and whatnot. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to make the cheese part and make it Monday and I'll tell you what will be served with it. But tomorrow, as a special to me, um, we decided that when we're having our fondue, we're just going to invite everybody along to enjoy with us. So Claudine and I will be sitting at the table and you'll get to see all of the things that we will be dipping into it. And um, what I have planned for the dips is some sourdough bread and some uh, buns that we'll cube up. And then I'm going to take out a package of Smokies and I'm going to par cook them just a little bit. They are all fully cooked, but I like to take a little of the salt out by par cooking them a bit, uh, boiling them. And then I've got cauliflower and broccoli, which I will be doing the same for. So you're not taking the raw vegetable. You have, it still has lots of crunch, but it's just slightly, slightly cooked. All right, let's see how we're doing here. We're not doing anything. I think I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. Got a little tiny bit of the shallot paper in there. Let's take that out. There. The shallots are a, if nobody's used a shallot, what it is, is it's a cross between an onion and garlic in flavor. So if you didn't have a shallot or the shallots weren't good in your store, you could use just a little bit of red onion or maybe a grate of garlic as well. But you don't have to. Plus, if you can't get it, we were able to quite easily get a, a nice size shallot. So that's what we did. So, and I should also sort of tell my story while this is all just cooking along here. Um, the story that I'm going to tell today is going to be about myself when I was a child. It's about 10 years old and I was determined, we were going on vacation. I was determined I wanted a, a, my hair permed. Well, that wouldn't have been a problem except for that when you're on vacation and you're not at home, you don't necessarily have access to the same showering and whatnot facilities and, and you're going swimming in the pools and stuff. Okay, I'm going to stop for just a second. I'm going to add 
a splash of white wine. Now you don't want too big of a splash. And there we go. And it says cook it for one minute. So that's just gonna cook for a minute. And then we're gonna add the half and half and bring to a simmer, okay. So I went and I got my hair perm. Oh, it looked good, really did look good. And I was so proud of it. And we went the next day on vacation and I promptly forgot what the hairdresser told me. Hairdresser told me, do not go swimming for three days. Do not shower your hair for three days. Well, the very day we arrived to our holiday vacation, I went swimming. Well, whatever residue of perm solution that she had, this was years ago, they, it's not the way they do it now, but they had, I guess, left a residue of perm solution in my hair, and my hair turned green. And I spent the rest of my vacation with green hair. Now today, that wouldn't be a big deal. Lots of people have green hair. But back when it happened to me, not so much so. No, there wasn't that many people with green hair. Okay, this is hard. Okay, so normally you'd be adding one cup of half and half. But like I said, I am doubling this. So I've got a couple of cups there of the half and half. And we're going to bring it to a simmer. And then we're going to add our cream cheese. It calls for an eight ounce block of cream cheese. So of course I'm doubling that. And then we're going to grate. Now it says you can have your choice of cheese that you grate. And I have a choice of uh, Gruyere, one of the suggestions is Gruyere, so it's a stronger flavor. So I've got uh, some, I've got one third Gruyere, one third Parmesan, and I got a little bit more than a third of the um, mozzarella. I did that little extra of the third because I had slightly less of the cream cheese, so I just balanced it out. So that's what you kind of wanted to do is you're looking for about a cup and a half of grated cheese, and it's your choice. You can do whatever kind of cheese you like. All right, so this is coming up to a simmer now. So let's add this cubed cream cheese, because that's the part that takes the longest, is actually to get the, the cream cheese. And I cube it because it melts a lot easier, but that's what takes the longer time, is to do that cream cheese like that. Let's just set this aside. Oops. Yeah, I'm not moving very good. My feet are kind of stuck to the floor. All right. And then I've got this cheese and this left. Okay, so let's get this cooking down and we'll see what's happening. But yeah, so I I had green hair for the rest of that little time and I wasn't happy. I was not happy. But it was my own fault. I had no one to blame but myself. Okay, I'd grate the cheese, melt it into the pot, add a pinch of nutmeg. Um, okay, yes, that's all right. And I told you I will show you what the bread and the stuff is later when I do that tomorrow when we have our party. So we'll get this ready. Now then to serve it. I don't have a, a fondue bowl. I have never had a fondue pot. So what I do is I use the same pot like this and I have a glass bowl. And I will put a three quarters of this into hot boiling water and after this is all made. And then I will pour the cheese into the bowl. And that's what we'll keep. Now, when I store this overnight in the refrigerator, it's going to go hard. Well, I'll pop it in the pot, melt it up, and then we'll put it in the double boiler. And that's what we will use. It's not fancy on the table, but I'm not a fancy gal. So if, if I don't need it fancy, this works just perfectly good. And I don't have to have the expense of going out and looking for a fondue pot or nothing else. All right, that's starting to get melted. So while that's melting, we're just going to take our time getting this in on. Okay, this is going to be a little bit of an issue for me. Let's see, let's try it this way. Let's go like that. Okay, so the top part of this is, of course, shredded mozzarella. And then I've got Parmesan. I've got good grated Parmesan. And then at the bottom, I have that darker color, and that's the grated Gruyere. Boy, was Gruyere cheese expensive. Whoosh. Got a small little block of it, and Plain said, I think she said it was six dollars or something. It was a crazy, crazy price. I couldn't believe it. So, oh, I'm getting that a little bit too hot now. I gotta turn this down. So we're simmering now. I gotta remember that. All right, because 
this will scorch if you aren't careful. So now, this can go right down low. Let's put a tiny sprinkle of nutmeg in, just like that. And that is done. It's Well, it's done except for it hasn't melted the lumps out. But that will only take a few minutes and then I'll run the whisk through it. So we'll give it a few minutes. We'll just talk for a few minutes and then I'll show you how it has melted down and it thickens up as it goes. And it is delicious. This will torment me having to wait for tomorrow. So. So my actual birthday is on Tuesday and uh, whatnot, but I thought that if I'm making this ahead, like I want to eat it up fairly quickly. So I said, I'll make it on Sunday. And then, oh, look at the meltiness of that cheese. Do you see that just running through there? Oh my gosh, that's so nice. Anyway, and then we will just have it on Monday afternoon. And then that way my son and his wife can have it then too. So that'll be very nice. Oh, my grandson came over today with his costume on. He's a little pumpkin. Oh, he was so cute. My gosh, you just can't get any cuter than him. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna bring this over and just let you see. Oops, I guess you can see it better over here. So it's just all lovely and melted there. And I think that we are gonna leave it at that point there. I will show you to, to on Monday. Oh, tomorrow's Monday. I'll t show you tomorrow afternoon, or I guess for you it will be Tuesday afternoon, having our actual fondue. You get to see how we're dipping into it and how lovely it is. And I wish I could share it with all of you, but I'll see you tomorrow. Thank <laughs> you.